Hello, hi. We're here on the internet for video games. That's what the internet is for, video games. Well, it's one of the things. It's the three pillars of the internet. It's video games, uh, hardcore pornography, and there's probably a third thing. I don't know. Uh, I'm Jeff. We're here. Uh, this is where I live. That's exciting. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I got some video games to play, and... Um, that's cool. I got uh, some chat over here that I'm occasionally looking at, but the microphone is in the way. I can't really see it like this way. So I can see some chat up here. I got two. I got multiple chats going over here. Um, oh, yeah. Number three, coordinating the, se the sale of illegal drugs. I forgot. Yeah, that is the third thing. You're right. All right. So video games, you know, they're good right that's wait that's what that window seems bigger than it's supposed to be hmm well whatever let's uh we can just resize that on the fly i just want to get started with this because this is just a good ass game also the camera didn't the camera didn't show up ha <laughs> Someone suggested this, and I thought, man, that's a good-ass idea. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the GBA. This window is too big. It's official. This window sucks. All right, that's... No, that's... Okay, that's all right. That, that's... Help. Okay, okay let's just go like that. This game is nuts. It is wild how cool this game is. Uh, we'll be Bob Burnquist. Seems like a safe, safe bet. Uh, I, you know, I, lo I love the Tony Hawk games. They're very good. And this game coming off the GBA was really weird. Um, just because of how like good it was at duplicating stuff from Tony Hawk uh, in an isometric form. You know, it's just really wild. Uh, the, you know, the levels from that game. And these little polygonal dudes. Skateboard stuff. Still just kind of using control. Sick ass bang on That's all I just want to do. I just want to just. If I could. If I could just do one skateboard thing. I mean, it'll probably like rise. Assuming that that kind of comes with the package of whatever this deal is. If I'd pick one trick, it'll probably be an awful want to go to jump, but uh, again, assuming that like the basics, the things that don't really score you points come out of game, come part of the package, I would want to be able to do so the one this crisp, like that, that like leg out, like you look at, you look at real video of bananas, they often don't look this good. Everybody has shit fucking speakers, honestly. I'll lower the game audio some. See if we can fix this. Uh, it's hard to mix a live show for people that are on like 9,000 different audio devices. But there you go. Maybe that'll sound better. Hopefully we won't lose too much of the music. Oh! Uh. 
definitely, definitely save. All right, let's uh, get back in there and see what we got. Okay. All right, what do we gotta do? We gotta kill, get the wings. We gotta nose grind over the pipe. Okay, that's up in A. The hang time gaps. But I think we got two of those three. Yeah, so let's spend cash on stats and such. What do we need Bob Burnquist to be doing better? Better rail. Probably.
nothing done that run. Oh, okay, that's right. I did it. That was right over the pipe. Okay. second level here. Six score, wall rides and bells, hall passes, TC's roof gap. Yeah, it's weird, you know, if you think about it, the, the Game Boy Advance has two face buttons and two shoulder buttons, which, you know, not as much as the PlayStation, so... They had to kind of take some liberties with the controls. Um, so your trick buttons, your, your grabs and your flips is on uh, the shoulders. Which is just like... Uh, just like that. Uh, there's a better version of this game uh, out for the Tapwave Zodiac, which is like a palm-based device that they try to put some games on. Um, not, most of not great uh, for games. But it was like a... It was basically this game, but like higher resolution, and it was kind of awesome. Nope. 
Nope, nope. I'm trying to take some time to learn what his specials are, because I don't remember, but I seem to just get special and then wreck, which... been a very long time since I've played uh, this, so I'm not surprised that I'm kind of garbage at it. That's probably TC's roof gap, but I did not mine up. Yep, perfect balance, always special. It's, uh, always zoom anime on. Uh, let's just do free skate. Look at some of these levels. Open the fucking levels? Okay, wait, there are separate codes for it. Nope, no, nope, that didn't work at all like it was supposed to, like it said on the website. Stupid websites. Alright, what do we got here? Good Spider-Man. 
do I not have enough money to be the best Spider-Man? Oh, good enough. Yep, save it. Ruin my save with cheats. Okay, so this is hangers first level, I guess, then rooftops is the last one. level or something that just unlocks. Or a competition level, yeah. that it zooms in for the special tricks. It's a... Greedy on them spins. Cool. Oh. The perfect balance cheat or something didn't take. Anyway, I don't know uh, how well it shows now. Uh, if you if you weren't if you weren't there when the GBA was kind of the current device, right? Um, but this is a really crazy game. Like it, it was just you know a totally different take on an established game. Uh, you know, different camera angle, all this other stuff. But it retained so much of the feel and and stuff from that original game. It was just kind of crazy. Um, it really, really stood out. Uh, and it's it's what I think of when Vicarious Visions is mentioned, uh, like they did. They did the port, some of the port work on the PC version of Destiny 2, uh, part of the Activision conglomerate or whatever, part of the Activision nightmare now. That's that's the Tony Hawk. Um, I tried to turn it. I've got the game audio like super low, so I don't know if that is helping with your audio issues. Uh, but 
but yeah, that's about as loud as the mic gets. I've got it pretty cranked here um, on this end, uh, so I can't really do much to the mic audio without really blowing it out. So. I can maybe gain it up a little bit here, but that's going to be very dangerous. Uh, yeah, see, this is probably just going to sound blown out now because it's just redlining all over the place. But there you go. Um, that's Tony Hawk. It's a, it's a good game. Tony Hawk is a good video game. It early was, I guess, you know, like times. Time was not especially kind uh, to the Tony Hawk franchise. You know, when it fell off, it people got a very sour taste in their mouths uh, about Tony Hawk uh, after that stuff, and and it's hard for some people to remember that those early games were like revelations uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, I was, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Look something up here. Uh... Let's load up some other business that someone suggested. Uh, this is potentially another poor choice for video games, but what are you going to do? Um, let's see here. Do that. And then this. I need to resize this window again now that we're in a different aspect ratio. Uh, here's the super cool hero of this game. as the star of her own arcade game, and Pac-Man's Video Sweetheart, which is not the same as a video game sweetheart. Video Sweetheart is a totally different thing. It's a radical rock and roller of the family. Hopes to star in his own game someday. Radical. Uh, Pac-Baby. Uh, got an appetite. These ghosts. These fucking busters. Knuckleheads. Doo-doo faces. And Mesmeron? I don't know. What's... The, you know? Who can say who the bad guy is? And? Is it me? Is, it, is this like an and you moment? Oh. Nope. Super Pac-Man. Which is also just... It's just Pac-Man. All right, this is Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I don't know that I've really played this, honestly. Hello, Pac-Man. Okay, okay. I feel like it's never a good thing when someone says, Today I'll introduce you to my world. Like, that's, like, like leave. It can be tricky sometimes. Like, just, just go home. Just be like, oh, this is the worst Tinder date I've been on. <laughs> Though if someone says they want to help you get out of trouble and solve weird mysteries, maybe that's... Maybe that, yeah. Before we start our adventure, look at this light. All right, now I'm going to move it down here. Do you like the controls or do you want to invert them?
Hang on. Is this an adventure game? And not like Pac-Mania? Aim the slingshot with the cross pad. Press and hold the B button to pull back. Then let go to shoot. Try shooting at everything. Yeah, that's, that's what Pac-Man does. Shoots a slingshot. You might help Pac-Man find something cool or something special. Oh, Pac-Man, you idiot. You goofball. It's right here. Idiot! If you want Pac-Man to look at something or turn around, press the cross pad in the direction you want him to look and press the C button. Got it. Oh, Pac-Man, you dumbass. No, stop. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'll keep shooting. Here you go. Broke your house. What do you think about that? Is this game for real? I had no idea. I, I don't... All right, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll break the window. Pac-Man's angry at me for not fucking up his house more. Neo Poke Kun. Just like fucking with things to ruin Pac Man's day. You may even have to use the slingshot on Pac Man. Oh, yeah? Right in the junk. Take it, Pac Dick. <laughs> I think you're getting the hang of it. Fucking masochist. <laughs> Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is a power pellet. If I'm really in trouble, use the power pellets to turn me into Super Pac-Man. Oh shit. What's up, Pac-Man? By using a power pellet. Okay, yeah. Let's aim the slingshot in front of Pac-Man, then use the A button to shoot the power pellet. Okay. This game is fucking blowing me away with how utterly average it is. Oh yeah. Now I gotta go. This Pac-Man is calling me. She also likes to use a slingshot on me, but it's a different thing. Ride of milk and pack baby is still hungry. Can you go get some more milk, please? I'll see is, he's not Oh no problem. He was sad there for a sec. He was like, what's my life become? 
And he's like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. I'm happy about it. Apples. Guess he'll go this way to the store. Shot that farmer and his stuff. Take it, fucker! Ugh, fuck you, Pac-Man. Did he die? What? Is Pac-Man... Did, did that kill Pac-Man? I'll do it again. Let's kill this guy, too. <laughs> Suck on it, Pac-Man. It's okay. He's covered. He's not. Don't Assassin's Creed into that fucking hay bale. All right. Can we get this cow to kick Pac-Man to death? Oh, you fucking suck, Pac-Man. if I just don't do anything. What is he doing? Is he brushing his teeth? Yelling at him about the Lord? What... Do need some milk. This is uh, continuing to kind of blow my mind, honestly. Like, this is a really... <laughs> okay, yeah, you got the jar. Use the jar on cow. Eh, Pac-Man's milking the cow. You know, Pac-Man 1 didn't have any cow milking, so it only makes sense that in Pac-Man 2 they wanted to expand, uh, you know, what Pac-Man was capable of. Now look at him, goose-stepping his way back to home. What? Why doesn't he have a face? Oh, he's turned away. Okay, all right. No, don't. That's not at all what I pushed. No, go. Slow down, pack baby. That milk hasn't been pasteurized. I, I don't like the, the, any attempts they've done at like trying to give Pac-Man like a bigger villain than just ghosts, whether it was the cartoon with Mesmeron or whatever the fuck this thing is. Like it just, like, I feel like the best you could do is like an evil Pac-Man, right?
Uh. Is charged to the laser and. Now does Super Pac Man have to save the ghosts? Oh shit, a late title card. This is the best game I've ever played. <laughs> Write that password down. Oh, hello. I'm just at home, enjoying the television. I'm Pac-Man. Today is Lucy's birthday. She loves fresh mountain flowers. That look on Pac-Man's face just says, Who the fuck is Lucy? Please take the ropeway and pick some flowers for her. All right! Pac-Man smiles, resigned to his fate. Don't freak out. Pac-Man is a coward. Just, just keep it moving. Just keep it moving, Pac-Man. Not your day, Pac Man. See, I thought we were. What what is it? Uh All right, let's let's move on. This is this is I need to think about this game some more some other time because it's it's not the game I thought it was. I thought Pac-Man 2 was No, this isn't it. Pack Attack is not it. This is the puzzle game. Exciting! I feel like if a game has to tell you how exciting it is right there on the screen at all times, it's probably not especially exciting. Crush ghosts? No. No, it does not. I have trapped that ghost. I've really boned it up. That didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped either. Huh. No, not. Mm. So I guess I need to make... Oh! I... Hmm. There. I made a line. I think I might understand the rules of this a little bit now. button game anyway I was thinking of huh I guess I was thinking of packed land 
Uh, let's see here. NES game Pac Land, uh, though this was originally an arcade game. This is a really terrible version of this game. But this is the music from the cartoon. Pac Man. See that? Yeah. That's Pac-Man. Yeah, see, that's a, that's a jam. I just listen. Why don't we just listen to that? I mean... Pac-Man. That's him! Mesmeron needs the power pellets. I've got... I've got an alternate version of that theme. Let me see if I can find it. If iTunes will load up a quality piece of software that launches good. There we go. Um... Let's see. Yeah. Rond comme un ballon, il peut jouer de café tronc, c'est du Pac-Man. Il chante du bonhomme, poursuivi par les fantômes, c'est du Pac-Man. Il n'a peur de rien, rond comme un soleil, il fait des bons dans le ciel, c'est du Batman. Also, this is damn near three minutes long. Il est toujours de bonne humeur, il a raison, ça porte bonheur. Faut faire attention, car voilà les boutons, vite une plaque d'homme, il dévore les fantômes. Grâce à son grand cœur, il sera toujours vainqueur, vive Batman. Mademoiselle Sue. Mademoiselle This is like halfway done. I don't think I can listen to the rest of this. Let's skip ahead. Whoa, I didn't, okay, we're getting, no, I'm going back to where we skipped from, because I want to hear that, I want to hear him take it up. One more time! Everybody! Okay, no, we, all right, we, we do not. 
not need to listen to, to Pac-Man Fever. Not here. All right. <sighs> I feel sick <laughs> after that. Is that the right word? Uh, I, you know, this is a game that I will tell you I like. Um, but I don't think I ever finished it or anything like that, you know? Um, I, I, can't, I can't remember how, where it goes. I only really remember the first level or two. Fire, jump. Wipe out tune. Nice groovy tune, i.e. Point one. Yeah. Find these, release these, shoot here, bad, good. If cool, collect these. Does that mean if I think 7-Up is cool, I collect it? Or... If I am cool, I collect it. Just a very colorful, well-animated thing. Cool spot, you know? Steel drum. Get a lot of use of it out of it. All right, I'm fifty percent, fifteen percent cool. Can I jump on enemies? Is that was I supposed to bounce up there and get that? Do I have to jump from here? Oh, hello. Music change, really. All right, well, I got some extra coolness, I guess. Was I invincible? Was that was that the music change? Taking a lot of damage here. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it for real. Uh... All right. 
we're gonna cheat in cool spot. I'm gonna craft a cheat here. Everything stays dead, huh? All right, so our life is equal to where it was. Let's keep going and take some damage. There you go. Our crab friend here is gonna hook us up. Okay, we took one damage, so that means comparison less than. And now let's take damage one more time here. Oh no. And it is continues to be less than. Hmm. These. Freeze address, freeze address. We should be good. Okay. We appear to have infinite, uh, hit points now. Uh, which, I don't know about you, I think that's pretty cool. See? Look at this book right here. Cheat codes. Right there on the beach. What do cool people do? They go to the beach. What do they do when they get there? They read books. Cool books. Like cheat codes. This is great level design, honestly, you guys. Like, it's kind of... Um, repetitive, you know, like, a little repetitive. Oh, I guess I need to... Okay, this will lead to the exit, I guess, if I take it. So maybe it's not just full-on backtracking the way it seems. Am I... Do I just need to commit to that and... See, I, I don't know where to go from there. Oh, okay, that pops and stays popped. So you can just bounce on it forever. See, I don't, I don't think I can get there. I don't think I can get up to that, that bubble. It, okay, I guess I can. Okay, you just gotta really fucking... You gotta believe when it comes to that shit, I guess. I'm gonna run out of time and die anyway. That's the first level. They're like, oh, by the way, the end of the level is like in the sky. You have to bounce off all these fucking balloons. I got a coolness bonus. Uh, because of my coolness, they said, man, you should get more stuff. Let's say find 60 cool points.
Oops, oops, oops. Oh, man, what is even happening here? Those knots. Continued uh, nuisance. Man, what? I, hmm. All right. of 7-Up. Cook that shit up. Starting to slowly come to a conclusion that maybe Cool Spot was not actually that cool. It just looks really good for the time and animates really well, but might not be a great game. Which is shocking to me. I, you know, he, you come to believe things like, "Hey, Cool Spot, that's one of the good games." Now here we are, and I, I, when faced with it, that fish is in a that impossible place. I thought maybe that can would be some kind of bonus stage. Okay, go that way. Oh, go through here. Got it. It said to collect 60 cool points, but do I just need to get to the end of the level? Because that would be way easier, uh, I assume. Also, he's got a real, uh, real slow wind-up on his movement where... Okay, so I'll push to the right and you can kind of see it. So, there we go. There we go. Like, just real... Like, they played some Sonic the Hedgehog and went like, I don't know, that's got momentum and people seem to like that because they're... Dopes. What if Cool Spot had that? That's what David Perry said. David Perry woke up one day and said, What if Cool Spot was slow? You know, I think without this game, you don't get Aladdin, right? Like, this game came before that. Vial of 7-Up. You seen what this stuff does to kids? Yes, you, def you definitely do not, do not get an Earthworm James. Uh oh Actually, uh, that game might have came first. Uh, that game might have been before this. I don't know. We'd have to do the math on that, I guess, but... Oh, hey, yeah, we're having a sale on some stuff. Some, I, I believe, uh, premium uh, Giant Bomb memberships, I believe, are on sale, along with some merchandise. And I believe what might be the dumbest piece of merchandise we have ever done. 
might be the worst piece of merchandise we've made. Which I'm very excited about because we went into the process thinking that would be really dumb to make those. <laughs> And then in a true fucking put your money where your mouth is sort of move, I was then suddenly a picture of me was on the dumbest merchandise we've ever made. So I guess that's what I get. Uh, that's what is that? That's uh, store.giantbomb.com if you want to look at that. And I think uh, some of the other stuff, some of the other better stuff is on sale. Uh, and some of the other more timely stuff. Look, we're right here on the cusp of... Uh, the fidget spinner craze. Let's face it. Everyone's talking about them. They're very now. They're very good. Why wouldn't you get one right now? You would be foolish to pass on such a limited edition item <laughs> that is not likely to be on sale ever again. I fell to my death. But I reached the coolness percentage that... I needed to reach, so... Man, if I have infinite health and I run out of lives because I fall to death over and over again. Alright, that arrow was pointing down, so I'm gonna keep... That's a good point. Why would you buy only one of these incredibly limited items? Right. I've uh, come to the realization that I don't want to actually play Cool Spot to completion. <laughs> and I think we're just about done. Uh, this game doesn't feel very good. Like, uh, for as cool as it looks, for as cool as Cool Spot is as a character, and for as... Uh, you know, relatively nice this game looks compared to a lot of other Genesis games. Look at those keys. Look at those keys. Look at Cool Spot pushing. Look at Cool Spot snapping, yo yoing, doing the cool stuff the kids do. If Cool Spot was around today, Cool Spot would be interested in a fine, fine product from the Giant Bomb store. Extremely limited, uh, much like the shoes you're into these days. No, you're not. You're not into the limited shoe game. You're done. Done with that bullshit. Smart. 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 Put it out. These these uh, items, th this limited edition item, is probably going to be harder to get than a pair of Yeezys, Yeezos, your 350s. It says supply backwards with no vowels on it because that's fucking edgy. And with that in mind, how can you afford to let such an opportunity pass? That's all I can say. Let's stop playing Cool Spot. That's also something I can say.
fuel spot is tired. That's not very edgy or cool. I'm lying. Being tired is very cool. Uh, let's see here. It's another long game that I... I played so much of this specific game. I it's, it's this specific version. I, I played a lot of the arcade version also, but um, I got this NES version of Akari Warriors and played it for months, probably. Um. How long until Giant Bomb speaker hats? You know, if the Atari speaker hats go down in price low enough to where we could buy them and just scribble out Atari and write Giant Bomb on them, I would do that. This is a really uh, kind of trashy version of this game when you think about how cool the arcade version is, but uh, the arcade version was difficult and at an arcade, and I was often not in an arcade. But I was often at home, and so th this is what I played. Alright, we're just gonna blow up that other tank, because we won't need it. Oops, oops, oops. Good god, man, get back in the tank. Uh, but also, this version is um, a little different than the arcade version. It kind of goes a little longer. Uh, and uh, you could continue. You know, this was one of the best um, continue codes. I found this myself because uh, it's just ABBA. I thought it was more complicated than that when I discovered it, but uh, I thought there was there were more buttons you needed to hit initially. But no, just don't. Just... I might need to just configure something here real quick. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I'm looking for a B, a B power up, uh, because that makes your grenade explosions bigger, uh, and also makes your your tank shots a lot bigger. That F is good. That gives you the artillery shell style, the thing that I've got now. You know, big explosions. What more? You know. What more could you want, other than, like, maybe, like, control that felt even the least bit good and not strangely infuriating because the way you would turn around. There we go. There's that B. Now look at how big these explosions are. Yeah. Fuck all y'all. Uh-oh. They blew up my tank, and then they blew up me. That's what I get. I should have hung back and taken care of those guys. But if you look at the way the guy turns, look at how, like, you know, you can't just, like, stop and turn around. Like, he has to, like, walk it out, and it's insane. Uh... Ooh. 
Uh-oh. Power-ups. Some L's and some S's. The length and speed, I think, of your shots. I forget. Up. Oh, well. Look at how slow you walk. Oh, no. So there's another, there's a bug with this game, and I don't know how to replicate it, but it would happen to me sometimes, and it was how, it would, how, I, it was how I would try to beat the game, because um, eventually the continue code stops working. Um, and I don't know why, if it's just like a number of times, or you get a certain point into the game, it just stops, or, or what, but eventually you kind of can't use the regular continue anymore. But there was a, a way you could kind of get, oh, that guy fucking blew up. A, B, B, A. Hey, there we are. Um, there was a way you, you would get kind of pulled through the bottom of the screen. Like the screen would scroll. It was like a forced scroll. And you would be like stuck behind a rock or something. So you couldn't get pushed forward. And it would drag you through the bottom of the screen. And you would come out the top of the screen invincible. Um, and also you would get stuck on a lot of invisible objects and stuff. Because it, you know... Like, the, you had broken the game, basically. Um, and I had gotten to a point where I could kind of replicate it, but the problem is, sometimes you would get permanently stuck. You know, you none of the enemies could hit you anymore. Um, and so you were, you know, you were invincible. Um, I don't, I think you could still shoot them. I, I, I don't remember for sure, but... Uh, ah, damn it. BBA. Let's keep going. Um, and but but you would have you would sometimes get completely stuck, like permanently stuck uh, behind invisible walls, and and just have to turn the game off. Sometimes I could play it all the way through and like see the end of the game and and finish the game. Sometimes I would get to the end of the game and not be able to finish it because I would get stuck behind something and not be able to like shoot the final thing you're supposed to shoot. Uh, it was a real fucking weird thing. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I played a lot of this game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just water. We can get in that helicopter. Uh-oh. Get out of the helicopter. Okay, he apparently cannot get out of the helicopter. You just die. Can we stand just at the edge of these guys' range and throw a grenade? Is that... Yeah. No, I want those. I want what those guys got. Okay. All right. Whew. 
Now we get to go through the Capcom classic game Gunsmoke here. For whatever reason, you can blow up the doors to these places, which probably stops enemies from coming out or something like that. Sometimes you'll blow up a tank with a grenade and it will, like, still be usable by you. It will, like, spawn a fresh tank, basically. That was pretty awesome. If there were achievements in this game, I feel like three tanks with one grenade would be a pretty good one. Also, though, can just consider how fucking slow the character movement is in this game. How excruciating this thing is. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Yeah, see? Well, blew up two tanks. Lost my... <laughs> That went as bad as it could go. Kill everything. Oh! Ah, that arrow just killed my tank. And then that guy threw a fucking grenade at me. Man, this is... Can I blow these things up? I think these... I want to say these things are indestructible. <laughs> That's maybe not the way to handle that. L's good. That length is really useful. Keep moving. Oh, yeah. I'll take all the S's you got. I'll take another L. I don't I think you can only hold one L at a time. But I'll hold that L. Come on, fucker. Brah. Thank you. 
Oh, that these shots don't go up there. I can't actually deal with these dudes. I just gotta. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Nope, nope. Mm. Let me out of the tank. Oh my god. That's that went bad. If I can't have that tank, no one can. <laughs> There's like a level select in this game too that I found out about years later. I think I think of Commando, a better game. <laughs> Just walking up this endlessly blue screen, and they could have put like a little, like you know, some crest, like a little wave, like representation of some waves or something. Just to have something. But they did not. You move even slower in the water. Wait, no, maybe you move just as slow. That's something I shouldn't remember. Oh, what? Just go for it. Oh, good, more water. It's the good part of the game. That guy was a suicide bomber. This game's heavy, man. Deals with deals with a lot, you know, fucked up topics. But I, yeah, like I don't. I'm pretty sure I can't actually blow these things up. I think you just kind of have to... Dude. Movement is so crazy in this game. It is so slow. Like, don't get me wrong. The arcade version of the game is not, like, a fast-moving game either. Uh, like, your your run speed is pretty slow. But, like, it, it had a... Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, the arcade version of Akari Warriors has a rotating joystick. And so you would rotate the stick and it would click. Uh, click, 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 click. Uh, to aim, and so it was. It was very easy for you to move in one direction and fire the other. Not as easy as like a dual joystick shooter, but like still like a, a, a neat implementation um, that that worked well enough. Um, but this, you, like you know, this doesn't have that, so you kind of have to like turn all the way around, and you know, the, you don't turn on a dime in this game when you're walking around. Nope. Grenade assholes. Ah, no, nah, I needed to get that guy off the wall, but I... <laughs> Fucking dicks. Oh! I 
can't. I, I don't think I can take too much more of this. Like, you don't really have a choice. Like, I have to get within grenade range with these guys because the bullets can't go up the wall. So, but also, they are grenade guys, so they just spit as soon as you get close. And it's, it's not, it's, it's rough. Is there like a 1cc of this version of the game? I would like, I'll, I would like to watch a TAS of this game. Like a regular speedrun or whatever might be interesting, but like just straight up perfection by robot. Uh, oh, see, when you take too long, they just start firing artillery shells over you, at you, and that's pretty uncool as well. It's like a, hey, you should probably get moving. It's like, yeah, no shit. So close. Nope. Ah, well. Also, the arcade version has pretty good music. I mean, this is the music, but like just better, proper versions of of this stuff. This is fucked. Alright. Uh, you. Oh, that grenade was offline. A little bit of that. Oh, well, okay. We got that guy. Clear out that side. Ooh, okay. Here we go. End of a level. We hit, we got we finished the first level, everybody. Anyway, it eventually gets weird, I think, later on. I forget. I can't do this anymore. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, some people made some different requests here. Uh, this one we'll just play a little, little bit of because I have a feeling I'll be real bad at it. But I do love this game. It just uh, at some point you're like, hey, what if you know, what if we had like a proper uh, um analog controller, which at the time of this game's release, I don't believe was standard. Um. Just a moment here. Everybody's favorite video game, Irritating Stick. This is another game that would probably be an interesting speed run to see now that I think about it. Uh, this is based on a Japanese television show. I believe it's called Ira Ira Bo. I, I, don't, I don't remember. Let's take a look at the courses. TV course, like course, arcade course, edit course. Oh, you can mess around. You can make your own levels. A course that modifies itself. Watch out for Mr. Robot. Tuesdays on USA. I don't know, I don't know what night it is. Yeah. 
It's the first degree of TV courses. Challenge okay. Course. So for all intents and purposes, I'm that ball. I move around. I can't touch the walls. It's like the board game or operation uh, because you really don't want to touch the walls. I can use the X and circle buttons to control the speed of movement, and it is a D-pad game. Um, you would think you would want some nuanced analog control, and you'd be right, but I think this game is just old enough to where it didn't support, or, you know, the, the, the PlayStation did not have analog controls when it first came out. So, uh, you know, this is a D-pad game, which is rough. And I'm trying to remember, like, I, you know... Like, if... Okay, there we go. Now we speed it up a little bit, because, you know, th there's a timer, too. And so we need to... Yep, yep. Fuck. Oh, no! So that's what we're really doing, is we're taking a... You know, in the, in the game show, they're taking this wand and trying to run it through this metal maze. Uh, and it's a person holding it, so when it explodes, that's fucked up. And now I'm at the back of the start, and I'm on tilt, and this is just going to go fucking bad. I'm never going to finish the first level of this game, and it's just sad. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. All right. Let's see how your performance stacks up. I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, Pretty I'll take good. it. Reminds you of a Net Yorose demo, yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at the courses. Let's select a course. Watch out for Mr. Robot. It is a much harder course. Watch out for Mr. Robot. <laughs> Final course. Watch out! You're too close to the end! Oh, no! Uh, there's also an arcade game like this uh, that was the, for the Neo Geo, and then there was a separate controller you would use. Oh, God. Oh, no. See, this is what I did. This is the replay of what I did. That was the dumb thing I did. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. This is what I did. Okay, let's just get down here, and then... And then slow it back down a little bit. Here's the first obstacle. Lucky seven. <sighs> Fuck me, man. What's going on? What's going on? You're garbage at this. I want to get past the slot machine. Oh fuck, there's an upper exit. I was rushing for that lower one, just not even paying attention that there was a, a separate one I could could have waited on a little bit there. Okay. Here's the first obstacle. Here's the first obstacle. Obstacle. Lucky seven. 
I, mm, I'm just getting pinched off there. It's just not how it happened. Let's try a different course. Let's see how your performance stacks up. Not good. That's too bad. Suck ass. Let's take a look at the courses. Let's select a course. Wait, level four? What did I do to deserve level four? It was level one last time we looked at this. Ah. Whoa, what's going on? This seems like it would be a really fun like thing to do in real life. I don't know that I would have the nerves for it or the the steady hand required really, but Again, I, I can't argue. I, Pretty good. Keep it up. I got no problem with that. A course that modifies itself. So if I do it again, I assume it'll be different. But I wonder if it ever has any of the big structures in it. Maybe we should try the edit course mode and see if we can just like, look at some of the weird stuff you can have in these levels. Yeah, that's... What's going on? I think I threw down some weird stuff in that level. Uh, it stopped letting me put stuff down because I assume you can only have so many things in there before it's just like, hey, there's, look, this is a PlayStation Let's 1 stop. Let's select a course. Uh, but let's see if any of it uh, looks interesting in any way or if I've just made some straight up trash. thing <laughs>
This isn't so bad. Do this all day long. I'm having a great time over here. Wait, what is this? Oh no. Fuck this thing. So yeah, there are you know there are videos of the of the TV show on YouTube of the the Japanese show that are probably worth looking at because it's just fucking insane watching people take this stupid stick and like move it in these incredibly careful ways. Um, or you know get shocked. Oh good. Oh no. Oh man, I don't, I don't think I can do any more of that. Oh, it starts me right here though. No. Um Someone requested this one as well. Um, which I, this game, I always, uh, saw in magazines and stuff and thought looked rad. Uh, it's called looping and wait, no, I'm going to not, I need to figure out how to take off here. It's a ColecoVision game. It was also in arcades. Um... So I don't think you shoot. Oh no, you shoot. Oh, you shoot all right. Is that going to... I'm going to crash into that? Yeah. What do I got to... I remember there being something you have to do to get the doors to open. Maybe if I... Maybe we need to shoot this door over here. Nope. I like that to fly left, you have to be upside down. There's no... in too hot. No, 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 no. It's really like weirdly finicky to try and line up shots on stuff because the you change speeds as you're, you know, going up and down and stuff like like a real plane might. Um Looping. It's weird. Uh, oh, let's see here. Um, oh, you know, I don't have... Uh, yeah, that's that's a little beyond me, the way it's set up right now. Someone suggested the arcade version of Pitfall 2, which is just a fucking shit garbage dump of crap um, in a way that makes it kind of interesting because it's so, so different from what Pitfall 2 was. Um, but I, what is... Oh, I guess there was a ColecoVision version of Pitfall 2. I didn't realize that. What's that even look like? Robert Rutkowski's Rutkowski's 
Pitfall 2. Yeah, that's just... This is just regular Pitfall 2. With fucking awful graphics. As opposed to the cinematic and amazing masterpiece that is... You know, actual Pitfall 2. Uh, I'm gonna go harass this rat over here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I can't jump over it. He just, just won't... Oh. That rat gets his, but not until the very end of the game. Spoilers. Uh, you, you get to you get to kill that rat at the very end of the game. Uh, this is an open world game. If you haven't seen Pitfall 2, it's crazy. Uh, for the time it came out. Uh, but this is not the right version to play. The Atari home computer version is the right one to play. Because it has a whole second quest in it that none of the other versions had. Uh, and it's... Um, fucked up how crazy um, the second quest gets compared to what the what every other version of the game was, I guess I should say. Okay, alright, we need to jump over the asshole scorpion. I feel like uh, this character, like Sprite or whatever, just is not, does not read as Pitfall Harry to me. Look at him. That's not what Pitfall Harry looks like. That's a checkpoint, or a uh, that's like a, a save spot, basically. So whenever you die, you return to the last cross you stepped on. And there are no lives. Uh, you just lose points for dying. And it warps you back to the last cross you stepped on. And you play until you win. It's like for its day, it's really weird. Um, and I'll lose some points here, I think. for Oh, well, I'll lose a bunch of points for diving right in that fucking bat. I used to have a pretty good route for this game down, um, and like parts of it come back to me when I play it now, but um, a little sad music and then just right back into it like, all right, everything's okay. And then the happy music when you get the gold, it's just, it's a good game. Oh no! All right, is this the one where I want to jump off? No, it's super not. Anyway, you get your niece Rhonda, you find a diamond, uh, Quick Claw the Cowardly Lion, uh, that rat, if you so choose to uh, give it its comeuppance, uh, is also uh, yours. Yeah, its fate is in your hands, I should say. Um, and this is just good-ass music. One more game here before we wrap it up. What is, what is he got here? Hmm. Elevator Action 2. Yeah, that's that that is an awesome game. Uh for sure. Uh that might be something I could make happen for a little bit here. I don't know how these controls are gonna be mapped, but we'll give it a go. My friends at Ving, Ving Rames made this game. He doesn't like to talk about it. Uh, he's pretty shy about his game development career, but before he got involved with the Tandy brand. Uh, Oh, 
Okay, that's odd. Okay, let's just a uh, little bit of that, 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 that. Boom, 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 boom. This is kind of a weird Saturn game because it is just, you know, it's an arcade game, really. So, violence mode, hard violence. I want the hardest violence you've got and the easiest game level you've got. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, man, the music in this game is really good, too. Cart Bradfield, Edie Barrett, or Jad the Taff? I'm going to go with my man Cart. He's got a glog. This mission has no code. Like, it, it's got a lot of the stuff from the original game, you know, shooting the lights down, and and, and I, I really liked the original uh, elevator action, so it was, it was crazy. Like, I, I had not seen this game in arcades. It just, you know, um, showed up as, a, as an import Saturn game, and I was like, well, I, I need a copy of that. If they're making a new elevator action, I need that in my life. Oh, get him. Um, and it turned out to just be like a really cool take on on elevator action. Get a data. I think I can actually. Can I jump down a level? I think you take some damage, but. point. I'm guessing that the Saturn version also has an arranged soundtrack because this, this sounds better than, arcade, than an arcade game might have at the time. Also, you can run. This game's fucking awesome. at a new society. Oh, shit. It was fucked up. Get in the van, get the fuck out. My man Jad the Taft picked me up in his van. His boogie van. This mission does have a code. The first one, no code. Treat the bombs set in the air terminal. These bombs are going to get treated. Actually, I'm probably going to stop playing and start getting ready for the Thanksgiving business. Or I've got to cross the breeze and, uh, you know, food and, you know, family. Ugh. Is that a monkey?
Imagine just standing near an elevator and then this fucking long hair comes rolling down on the elevator and you're like, what? And by the time you figured out what's going on, he has shot you to death. And that's how you go, man. That would just be the worst. Uh, one last game. I mean, just for old old times' sake. Uh, the NES version of the original elevator action is a pretty good version of this game. It's not a pretty good version of the first game, rather. It's not arcade perfect, but it's close enough. Look at that dude. He's part of the N, for whatever reason. Just grappling onto this building. Pretty much the same game. Shoot the lights out. I got a data. Let's jump kick this guy. Bop. This guy too. Blah! The jump's good because you can just wave, wiggle it back and forth in midair. Warren style. Two guys with one jump kick. For whatever reason, you can't shoot your gun when you're on the escalator, which I find to be maybe the game's sole flaw. building has the 13th floor. Actually, I think all buildings in Japan do. <laughs> I was going to say they're not weird like we are, but it's just it's different, different types of weird, right? Every culture is going to do its thing, right? Uh, oh, oh! Ooh, that's kind of a hot one. Fuck. Dude caught me slipping. Fourth floor, yeah. Good question. I believe they do, yes. I don't think there's going to be any more doors. I think we just need to get out. Is this the right one? It's not. We made it. Let's get in my car and get out of here. Jump kick into the car. All right. Video games, they are still good. Elevator action is among them. There's a Dexter's Laboratory game for Game Boy that was an elevator action game in Japan. And so it's a really good licensed game because it's basically just elevator action. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thanks, uh, everybody, for hanging out. You know, it's uh day before Thanksgiving here in the States which means everything kind of shut down. I had to go out earlier to acquire some butter, if you know what I mean. And uh, it was fucking terrible out there. It's a damn nightmare. Don't don't go outside. Don't don't leave. If you can just stay in the house and, and have some food and hang out, 
That's my recommendation. This is supposed to be a camera shot of me. It is not. And, and now, okay, all right, now we're over here. And now this, this window is not the right size anymore. All hell, breaking loose. I think that means it's just time to go. Um, so thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Um, we got some stuff, uh, uh, game tapes going up pretty soon here. Uh, that sale's happening. There's uh, the hottest merchandise item of all time of any branded item in the history of branded items it is available, I believe, uh, at uh, store.giantbomb.com. So get in on that because uh, supplies are insanely limited for this incredibly, incredible item. Uh, and yeah, I, I think they're for sale. I don't know. I saw an image floating around, so people, it seemed to have been out there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just fucking talking crazy. I'm going to look. I'm going to look real quick here. Yes. There's what a good item that you could buy <laughs> for six dollars and forty. <laughs> Pre-order now. Supplies are limited. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving or you know Thursday, whatever you're into. I'll see you around.